In many ways, when the government took over Fannie Mae last month, it was the spark that started this current economic crisis. Now, up until this point, Fannie Mae was the most important mortgage company in the world. What Fannie Mae did was that they would buy loans from lenders and other companies, repackage them, and then sell them to investors. The lenders would get fresh capital that they could use to make more loans. Investors would get these great mortgage-backed securities. And Fannie would take a fee for guaranteeing that the borrowers were going to pay off their debts. So in a lot of ways, they're the lubricant that makes the housing economy go. What my story in the New York Times explains is how Fannie Mae went from being a pillar of the housing economy, one of the safest institutions in the United States, to a company that continuously was buying riskier and riskier loans. Understanding the decisions that were made by Fannie Mae and by some of its executives and by regulators are key to understanding why this financial crisis has played out the way that it has. One of those key characters is Dan Mudd, who headed Fannie Mae starting in 2004 until it was taken over by the government last month. Shortly after Mr. Mudd took the head position of Fannie Mae, he had a meeting with Countrywide Financial, the nation's largest lender. In that meeting, the head of Countrywide Financial said to him, we've had a great relationship, but if you don't start buying my riskier loans, I'm going to cut you off. This was a huge threat to Fannie Mae. They were already losing market share to a whole bunch of Wall Street banks. And so what Mr. Mudd did is he steered Fannie Mae into riskier loans. Moreover, lawmakers were constantly pressuring Mr. Mudd and Fannie Mae to buy more and more loans from low-income homeowners, who are typically some of the riskiest bets. When the housing market started going belly up in 2007, all of a sudden Fannie Mae realized that it might be on the hook for billions and billions of dollars. And as we know, beginning in 2007, that's exactly what happened. Which is why last month, the federal government had to take over Fannie Mae and its cousin, Freddie Mac, at a potential cost to the taxpayer of $200 billion.